Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 amazing things you can do with your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, Samsung has dubbed these features as next level foldable experiences. So let's dive in and get started right away. And I will let you know that if you do have a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, 2, or 1, 90% of these features will work no problem. So let's dive in and get started. So number one is known as the drag and split. So we have a built-in internet browser on all Samsung smartphones. It's known as the internet. So I'm going to launch that. And basically what you can do is if you go on any website and if there is any link anywhere on that website, for example, all these things here are links. So let's say you want to keep this web page, but you want to open a separate tab for this link right here. Normally what you have to do is you have to press and hold and then you have to open in a new tab and that's going to give you another tab and then you have you can switch back and forth uh, between those two guys now there's another method known as the drag and split which makes the whole thing seamless with multitasking combined so basically press and hold on any link that you want start to drag that link to the corner of the display and it's going to say drop here to open let it go and now what it's going to do is going to give you a split screen view of both of those windows that you wanted to take a look at. And of course, you can make adjustments as necessary. If you want to look at over here, that's great. Then you just swipe it over. You, you can look at this and that's fantastic. This makes looking at multiple websites so much more easier and you can swipe it away to kill one of these tabs. Now, again, I'm going to show you one more thing. You can also press and hold if you want. You can drag to the edges on any edge or you can bring it to the middle and it's going to open up as a pop-up view, okay? And of course, all these pop-up views are in fact resizable. So you can look at it like this. You can tap on the blue line over here. You can minimize it and it's going to just sit in the corner. And you can look at this website and then when you want to reference this one, tap it, okay? For whatever reason, you can reference that and again, you can tap here. Uh, minimize, maximize, so many things you can do. Even tap here to start the split screen view, as you can see. And if I were to swipe these away, so there are so many possibilities with the drag and split method. So that's number one, let's move on. Now the next thing has to do with the brand new taskbar here. Now in my case, I'm using the buttons view. Some people use the swipe gestures, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I tap on any app, these applications that are right over there, they get pushed down and it becomes a taskbar and then you can access anything you want right from here for quick switching between applications. Now, if you go to settings, display, and navigation right here, and if you go to swipe gestures, look at what happens. We get the same exact thing. I'm going to go home real quick. Here's the applications. Let me just launch the calculator application. The same thing happens. This thing goes down. But there is a little trick here when you have the swipe gestures enabled. What you do is you can press and hold right here, and that is going to disappear. Okay? So the taskbar is now hidden, and you're getting a full screen view. If you want to bring the taskbar back, you can't just go like this. Okay? Let me show you what you can do. You have to press and hold on the corner, and it's going to pop up just like that. That is fantastic. So if you do have the swipe gestures, you have the option to hide the taskbar if you so desire. Let's move on to the next tactic. So let me first set up the scene. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about multi-active window and natural window switching. So let me launch one application and let me launch another application. Let's grab this one. I can drag and drop it and I can put it right here as you can see. And I can also tap on this button and select any application I want from my installed applications and also drag and drop it anywhere on the screen. So right now I have three-way split screen multitasking. So here's what multi-active window means. You can drag and drop and resize any one of these applications based on your workflow. And also right now I have three applications. If I were to go home, those applications, those three applications are in fact saved. So look, if I tap on the Recents app, I still have that application, three application window right here. And if you look on the top, 
you are going to see the icons for each application and then you can tap it to bring it back and you can have multiple multi-active windows split screen windows just like this one in the background let me just resize this real quick now the other option is known as the natural window switching so basically i can grab any one of these windows and i can drag it over the other window and it's going to replace resize and reconfigure the display so again i can grab this explorer and let's say i want to just grab it and put it right here now it's going to go there and these are going to split screen on the side now as you're using this feature you want to make sure a certain setting is always enabled so what you want to do is you want to go to your settings and then you want to scroll down to advanced features you want to go to labs and you want to make sure multi window for all apps is enabled if you enable this even if there is a naturally incompatible app with the multi active window and the natural window switching it is going to force it to actually comply with these tactics so now i can pick a random application that i downloaded from the play store or the galaxy store for example my bmw application i can just replace this one with that and that is going to work properly normally it was not going to work but because i went in here and enabled multi-window for all apps all apps are now available in the multi-window view you can get that little message but you can ignore that because it is being activated by the labs feature all right the next feature is known as the app split view so let me show you what i'm talking about first we have a specific app split view option just for the setting screen and then you can use it on other applications if you want so if i go to display and if i go down over here you're going to see we have a screen layout and zoom option now this is the standard view that just gives you a full screen view but you can do the multi view so you can get a split screen so it makes better use of that large screen area now when you go to most applications that's not going to work so if i go to calculator it's not there some apps are simply not supported however if you want to force this option onto apps that are supported again you go to your settings you go to advanced features right here you go to labs you go down and you go to app split view and in this case whatsapp is available for app split view so i'm going to launch my whatsapp application right now and this is just a normal mode it is not split it is just taking the whole screen if i go back in here and enable that option now when i go to whatsapp it's going to show you the split view which is much more usable so now when i am chatting with anybody you can see that we have the people listed here all my chats and i can actually see the chat and continue the chat right here okay so again any app that supports the app split view is going to appear right here and you can enable or disable based on your needs let's move on all right so here's another great feature so basically let me just launch any application i'm just going to use a calculator as an example so let's say i you i'm using this and what i want to do is i want to shut the screen down and continue using this application on the cover screen here's the problem when i shut the cover screen the phone turns off when i double tap to wake it and log in with my fingerprint or my pin number all i see is the home screen i have to go and i have to relaunch the calculator application so that's a couple extra steps when i'm switching from the inner display to the outer display now we can fix that what you want to do is you want to go to your settings you want to go into display you want to scroll all the way down go a little bit up and look for continue apps on cover screen from here you can pick and select the applications you just want to transition over to the outer display look at what i'm talking about i'm going to activate the calculator all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch the calculator application it is right there so now when i shut the screen look what happens it transitions over i don't even have to log in i can start using this right from here so that's a great feature and the good news is if you go into the settings you can modify that for any application that you want display all the way down pull up a little bit continue apps on cover screen you can enable this to work with any application 
that you want. All right, guys, so this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.